Ms. Borja, thank you for having me here at the home of the Wildcats. And thank you for doing this amazing program to not only teach young people and give people like a love of reading and of storytelling and of literacy, but I mean, this truly spans all generations. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, this is a middle school, so we have sixth, seventh and eighth graders. But um, I really, I grew up with tons of books and my, my mom is a, is a great role model as far as reading. She's, she's a voracious reader. And I really don't see too much of that, like as technology has become more prevalent, um, you know, in the homes. So kids are more uh, interested in television and iPads and other devices and things like that. But once I, in my classroom, when, whenever we do novel studies, I really try to get them engaged in the books. You know, I do the voices and I dress up in costumes and, and we do lots of activities and stuff. And they do, they get involved, they get engaged, they get interested. And at the end of it, they're always like, Miss, I've never read a whole book before. So you're creating an experience based on the story, which is yes. what it should be. You know, this isn't some Facebook status message and everything like that. This is, you're going on a journey. Oh, definitely. And that's what I do in my classroom. And I really thought about like, how can we expand this experience? Like take what we're, what's happening in a classroom and expand it not, and not just for the students, but have this interaction and this connection between the adult and the, the students as well. So the We Read Literacy Program, uh, which was, is, or is funded by the CLSD uh, Comprehensive Literacy State Development Program, it's a federal program and uh, about 10 schools here at GDOE were awarded this grant. I was already writing uh, uh, the program before the grant kind of fell into my, or grant opportunity fell into my lap. And uh, I wanted to take that kind of novel study experience and expand it. And my plan was to have all of the students here on campus and all of the adults, the entire community, school community, um, interact and connect together by reading the same book. I've seen, uh, I've, I've read different studies about school-wide literacy programs, um, and some of them were, were really great. They had a lot of great um, you know, benefits, but uh, as far as the needs and the resources uh, available to my school, uh, they weren't exactly, they didn't exactly fit. So I had to write something a little bit different. I brought it to my administration. They loved it. They and said, again, that's the way it used to be. It. We all used to read the same comic books, the same Archie, you know, double digest, you know, the, yeah. the same the same Shakespeare books. And now, you know, kids go on and they see like a kajillion different, you know, Instagram feeds, which is totally cool. Yeah. But now we're getting back to all the things. We, we, I all, like we all share the same experience. I would like for us to, and that's the basis, uh, the, the main basis of this program is we as a school community, we're all going to read the same book over the next three years. I'd like to extend it uh, past these three years with the grant, uh, but for definitely the next three years, we're going to read the same book, sixth, seventh, and eighth graders, all of the teachers, the school aides, the counselors, the administrators, the staff, everybody, we're all gonna be reading this book twice a week. And then in between those uh, reading periods, we're going to ha engage in dialogue with each other, literacy-based dialogue. We're gonna play games together. We're gonna do activities together. We're gonna finish this book together. And so in the hallways, uh, a, a counselor can be counseling students and say, hmm, is that what our main character would do? Is that how they would resolve this conflict? You know, and school aides can be talking to each other. Uh, a eighth grade teacher and a sixth grade teacher can come up with lessons that, you know, involve the same characters and events, but they're for different grade levels, even different classes. But all together, we're gonna be able to experience this story together, these characters, these themes, and we're just gonna be able to share and connect with each other. And um, I think that it will, A, increase their the students' confidence when it comes to reading. You know, reading is not just about extracting information from a textbook. That's where a lot of these students, um, that, that's what a lot of students think of when it comes to reading these days. It's about extracting information from a textbook because a teacher is forcing me to. And that's not what it is. It's not all that it is. You know, most of it is 
not that. And so I want to show them that it's about, it can be about, you know, like escaping into a world with characters that you might never meet, you know, and, and play, go, go talk about things, learn about things in places that you might never see, you know, ordinarily. And, and once you consume that story, it's yours forever. It is yours forever. And it becomes it's a part of you. It's not a Snapchat post that disappears after 24 hours and everything. No, this is something that you carry It becomes a part of you and your experience and it becomes part of your prior knowledge and you'll be able to talk about it and talk about these themes and, and ideas with anybody anywhere. Okay, are you at liberty to say which book that we'll be, we'll be all reading together? This year, we're gonna read a story called Freak the Mighty. And I wanted to choose a, a book that had um, some topics and some themes that can touch upon maybe some of the experiences that the kids are, are, are going through or have dealt with or might go through in the future. But also we had to choose a book that would, uh, that the sixth graders and maybe some of our struggling readers would be able to keep up with, but is still engaging enough for the eighth graders and the more advanced readers to, to you know, sink their teeth into. Okay, now there are three components to the We Read Literacy Program. You've obviously the reading part and consuming the written word and these wonderful stories together at all levels, the entire school community, as you mm -hmm. said. Mm -hmm. uh, there's the connect aspect, which we're, you were saying. Um, there's also the share yes. aspect. Can you talk about that? Well, yes, there are three components. We read, that's where we all read together. We connect is uh, myself and uh, my assistant program coordinator, Haani Leon Guerrero, we are, uh, we are creating a, uh, an inventory of games and activities, non-graded games and activities um, and resources for the teachers uh, to be able to uh, supplement these uh, readings. So they will read for 15 minutes twice a week, and then for another 15, 20, 30 minutes, um, they will engage in games, activities, discussions, debates, projects, arts and crafts. It's really up to the, the teachers. Um, it's, it's the teacher's choice. Like, what, what do we want to work on today? But there's gonna, we are creating a giant inventory of really fun, engaging uh, activities uh, for them that are all connected to this story these themes, these topics, these characters, these lessons. And um, so that's the We Connect um, section. The third section is the We Share. And at the end of the um, book, once we all finish the book together, we're going to have a, a We Share Fair. And it's kind of like uh, here at our school, the science department, they have their science fair and they have a whole day of activities where everybody gets to show off all of the um, projects and experiments and, and, and displays that they've been working on. And I saw you guys have a Bible club too. That's super cool. There's tons of clubs and, and organizations here at our school. And it was like, we don't really have um, a literacy day, activity day. And so we're going to have the We Share Fair where during um, this school year, while we're working on these arts and crafts and these projects and these puzzles and these maybe skits and things like that, on the day of the We Share Fair, all of these things are going to be on display. So we'll have a, a section, a room where people can come in and watch the skits be performed. We'll have another room where all the artwork and the poetry is on display, maybe some essays, maybe some arts and crafts. We'll have games and activities, and it's a it's our culminating activity after we've read the book together. Very nice. That's wonderful. Okay, and now we talk about getting back to where the things used to be about like you know holding a physically bound book in mm -hmm, your hand, mm -hmm. you know, exchanging this with your friends, you know, yeah. learning this together. Yeah. But this is a very very modern school, and yours is a very modern classroom, right? There's also a social media component that you're putting together with this to kind of really galvanize that that spirit of like I love reading. Yeah, there is. Um, I really wanted to involve the community. So I put out a letter to some influential members of our community and asked them to create a video, uh, a hype video, to really hype up our kids right before our kickoff. We're supposed to kick off the start of the We Read program 
next month in October. And so I've, I've put out the call. I've, I've requested um, videos from musicians and athletes and um, media personnel and um, some political uh, um, officials as well. And so we'll see who, um, who heeds the call and creates the video. And, and I really feel like seeing people out in the community, people that they know or they've heard of, seeing adults excited for the program, you know, excited for books and literacy and, and, and showing, you know, how important it is in life. I think it will really um, get them excited for the program and, and really just show them how important um, literacy is, you know, reading and writing is not just in the school, in a classroom setting, but outside in the real world. And for many different reasons, you know, to learn, to relax, to, you know, visit places that you've never been before. You know, there's just so many purposes for entertainment, so many reasons for reading. And, um, and you just, made it fun. I hope so. You know, we're about to kick it off. And my hope is that everybody's gonna have fun, that everybody's going to come out at the end of the program saying, yeah, I'm excited for next year because we're gonna do this for three years. And I really hope that you know, the, the, we get better at it. We get, you know, um, more interested in it. I, I learn how to put things, you know, better, more people in the community will want to get involved. You know, I, I really hope that over the next three years, we really um, just get better and grow. My goal is that this program works and that other schools will want to implement it. I mean, that's, that's my ultimate goal is like, let's, Let's make reading fun in all of the schools.